John, this question is for you. Um, initially, the White House said the Inflation Reduction Act was about bringing down costs for families. Um, a number of economists concluded that the inflation that has come down was not a direct result of the IRA. And meantime, we were told initially that the climate investments in this bill would cost somewhere around $385 billion. Now we've got new estimates putting that number at at least $1.4 trillion, potentially could go even higher because yes. the uncapped portions. You know, I want to take another stab at Osmo's question because I, I think it's important going into 2024 where you've said yourselves that voters don't understand everything the president has done. Polls keep showing that uh, people are broadly unhappy with the president's handling of inflation in particular. And the president has said he wished he didn't call this the Inflation Reduction Act. What should you call it? Well, he said uh, following that uh, sentiment, because I think it's a complicated bill, uh, that it also has reduced costs. And I think it's very important to note that both on the health care and, as I noted, on the energy side, uh, we've already seen costs coming down uh, for consumers on the health care side through utility rebates on the, on the energy side. People will be able to take advantage of the consumer tax credits uh, when they file their taxes next year. Uh, the rebate programs that will provide uh, uh, Substantial support, particularly to moderate and low-income families, will bring their costs down. Uh, and uh, so I think that the statute is uh, working as it's intended. Uh, with respect to the cost, that's that's then that's on the I you know I haven't heard that one yet. But uh, I think I think the Joint Tax Committee said that there's been a greater take up of of the manufacturing tax credit that that, that they. Uh, anticipated last summer when they did their score. But that's a that's a good news story. That means that people are investing in America. They're putting people to work. We're bringing supply chains home. And overall, in the mid and long term, this bill, because of the other provisions on health care and the ma major tax reform that require the wealthy and, and uh, the uh, uh, and corporations to pay their fair share, still is reducing the deficit over the long term. I, I just would like to say quickly to that, I, um, uh, I, I think one of the reasons we're so enthusiastic about the Medicare drug negotiation is that it will contribute to uh, deficit reduction, $160 billion over 10 years. Right. Obviously, the Inflation Reduction Act was uh, is uh, we, uh, the tax provisions are also incredibly important to the Inflation Reduction Act. So um, uh, but, we think it is important to remember that there are key deficit reduction items uh, part of this and that they have very bipartisan support in the country, if not in the Congress. Mr. Podesta, I wanted to return to the issue of public-private partnerships. Um, during the Obama administration, of course, then Vice President Biden oversaw a lot of the stimulus spending but didn't foresee uh, the $528 million loss that was Solyndra. As president, more recently, um, he heralded the electric bus factory uh, manufacturer, excuse me, Proterra, but it, it went out of business last week. So I'm wondering if you can speak to some of the safeguards and steps that you've taken to steward this public uh, taxpayer money and ensure that there won't be another cylinder. Yeah, from, Proterra. from I'll just be very, very quick. From day one, I uh, asked uh, that the inspectors general convene. And we've done that with under the leadership of the Department of Interior Inspector General to ensure that each of the grant programs uh, and loan programs had the highest level of, uh, they're independent, but had the highest level of input from the inspector generals to uh, avoid chasing the horse when it's out of the barn, try to make sure that the program design uh, kept the horses inside the barn. Uh, and I think with respect to the loan program, uh, 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 particularly our friends on the other side of the aisle like to talk about Solyndra. Overall, uh, this is a very highly performing program. It returns $500 million to the Treasury, uh, the loan program office at the Department of Energy. It has a 4% failure rate. They're going to be, if you're making loans to new technology industries, you're going to have some things that don't work. You can't have a 100% record. But 4% uh, default rate against those loans is consistent with uh, the highest levels of uh, of the private sector uh, 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 lending uh, standards. Uh, so I think it's operating very well and it's producing a lot of uh, work for the American people.